Hey guys, World of Animals here. Today in this video we are going to be looking on how to care for your wood lice colony. So, come on and let's go look at the world of animals. So, this is what a wood mouse looks like. The wood mouse is a crustacean, which means it has its bones on the outside of its body. If you can see that, it looks like it has armour. The layers of hard shell um, keep them safe. So basically, he has his bones on the outside of his body. They help him crawl into a ball and be flexible. Basically, the antenna that you can see right here help the insect move about um because the insect his eyes don't work very well he they use antennae to help them find their way around on the underside of a wood louse they have 14 feet This is a, um, to, to distinguish the gender is by seeing if they have an egg sac, which I'm not sure if this one does, but let's watch them walk around. These little creatures like to hide in dark, damp places. Because they dry out very easily, um, they like to have a lot of moisture. Um, so that's why when you're keeping woodlouse as pets, you need to spritz the tank every um, other day. So once every two days. Oops, that one goes. There he goes. Um, there are different types of wood lice. This is the common garden wood lice. I don't actually know the scientific name off the top of my head, but it will probably be on screen now. So that's what the scientific name is for the wood louse. Um, they are also have lots of different names. Some people call them roly poly bugs potato bugs, isopods, which is what scientists use to name these. But um, the most common one in Britain, which is where I live, is wood lice. Um, the reason they are called wood lice is because they eat away at wood. So they are basically part of the environment that actually helps. They like bees, um, snails, slugs, you know, all that stuff. They help compost the earth and get rid of all the kind of waste that we don't need. So like things that fall off trees, like rotten fruit, dead leaves, rotting wood, and lots and lots of just dead stuff. So basically the janitors of the world. So let's get straight in on how to look after them as pets. So here is what I keep my wood lice in. This used to be an old sea monkey tank. Um, I still have some sea monkeys downstairs. But if you want to see some sea monkey videos, go to my toy channel, which will be in the description. Um, but yeah, so basically what you want in your um, wood lice tank or kind of colony area is you'll need some wood so as you can see I've got some wood here a plank of wood some wood at the back right here here and here right at the back um, I've also got some grass and soil so 
Um, what I feed them are potatoes. Um, basically, I every two days, like when I spritz the um, tank, I spritz the potatoes to keep them moist. So what I use to spritz the tank is this bottle, which I've labelled Wood Lice Hydrator. It's basically just an average spray bottle, which you are actually just do a little bit in the cage now. Yeah, you just spritz the cage every two days. So it keeps them nice and hydrated. So that's basically all you need. Let's get a headshot view of the tank. So here you can see all the important stuff. So like the big plank of wood right there. Some more little extra pieces of wood down there. The potatoes, the soil, little dead leaves, some grass. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right underneath, there's like an area for them to hide. I'll show you that when I'm not shaking about. But yeah, they like to hide under there because they get out the shade because they dry up too easily. That's why they need to be hydrated and have a little hideout. So here we go. I need to do this very carefully so I don't disturb them. So what I do when I take it out is I just get my middle finger and my index finger and just pull it up very slowly. It only looks like there's one under there right now. But there is also some other wood lice down here. I don't know if you can see, but you can see at the top. So yeah, they just hide underneath there. They're probably under all that stuff. So yeah, he was just chillaxing. So I'll just put this back nice and carefully. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz the potato because it's gone a bit dry. And I just kind of place it in place. And there we go. That's basically my tank. So as you can as you know, I use the Wood Loves Hydrator liquid, which is just water to hydrate the tank every two days. Um, but I've also got a couple of essentials just in case, you know, like they eat all of some of the wood or they kind of eat some bark or some leaves or, you know, just stuff like that. So basically here I just have a huge thing of wood, another thing of wood, and another. So I have a lot of wood on hand. Um, then I've got, you know, just got some grass and some dead leaves. Which I'll try get to show you. Yeah, and also just some dead leaves. Okay, I'm coming. And also just some dead leaves like this. And so yeah, yeah, that's just some tips on looking after wood lice. I hope this helped some new people who are trying to get into the world of looking after insects as pets. Um, when you actually take care of them and see their behaviour, it kind of changes your view of how you treat them yeah you just kind of you know they are actually really nice insects to keep they have a really strange behavior they kind of climb over each other and look like they're mating but when they're but like they're actually not if you know what i mean um, but yeah, that's kind of the end of the video. If you want another video on my wood lice, then please leave a comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
let's release him back into the tank. Can you get off, please? She doesn't want to leave me. There you go. Whoa. I'm going to call you Jerry.